Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Tonight we're going to showcase a new game. Well, fairly new. Uh, it was looks like it was introduced on August 12th of, two th of this year. Um, called Inside the Cup Golf. I was just uh, looking at the Inside uh, Sports Games website. Trying to look and see if they uh, released any more seasons about baseball, football, basketball, or hockey. and uh, Or just to check out the site in general. And I happened to come across this. Uh, they released a new game. Um, I think I had heard that they were working on it. Um, but Inside the Cup Golf. So it looked interesting. Uh, they also they have a board game version as well as a PC game version like their other games. Um, and with their PC version, they have a five-game trial. Um, five-day trial, which you... Not game. Five-day trial, which you can uh, try the game for five days like their other games. And then... Um, if you want to continue playing after that, you have to get an activation code. Um, so it's a free five-day trial. And then they have, I believe, the full game. Let's see here. It looks like it's $45. And you can choose. Um, looks like you can choose between the 2006 tour 2016 tour, 2017 tour, and you can also choose between three golf courses, uh, Augusta National, Pebble Beach, and TPC Sawgrass. I believe it, yeah, it comes with one course and one tour, one tour season. Um, so it looks like uh, after that, each additional season is, and that's I believe activated on one computer like the other other games are and I think there's probably a an extra fee I think it's ten dollars for the uh, for the baseball football basketball and hockey to, to get it on another computer which is which is reasonable um, and I think for the extra seasons if you want to get them are if they're fifteen dollars a piece for the electronic files and uh, for the actual courses there looks like they're twenty dollars for each course so I've yet to try this. So this is the first time I have tried it. So Mr. Brody and I, Purple Monkey, Blue Duck, and Pur and uh, Blue Penguin, along with Miss Mags, are going to try this out here. And um, we'll see how it plays. So again, this is the first time we've tried it. We have not done anything with it yet. So bear with us. So it looks like you can choose between new round, a load round, a new tournament, load tournament. Golfer rating statistics. Sortable statistics, real life replay stats, golfer comparison, golfer rankings, and a help menu. So I think we're just going to go with, let's go with a new, new round. We'll play a round here. All right, so it looks like you can choose the sound on, sound up. I'm going to play with the sound on just the first time, just to try it out. Um, let's see, what, see what's involved. I don't think they spelled match play here wrong. <laughs> I just happened to notice that. Pin placement, day one, day two, day three or four. We'll try day one. Uh, stroke, go with stroke play. Uh, random golfers. Let's go with... It's probably other golfers that you play against. Let's just go with one other golfer right now just to keep the game moving. Let's see if I can... Hmm. Doesn't look like I can click on any of these. Hey, Miss Mags. Miss Mags is joining us in here. So it doesn't look like I can click on any of these right here. Oh, maybe I have to click on this. Let's try that. All right, here we go. Select up to four golfers, two for match play. I'll go for stroke play. Uh, so we have a choice between Ian Poulter, Paul Casey, Ricky Fowler, or Shane Lowry. I'm going to go with Ricky Fowler. That's the one I really recognize. I'm not a huge golfing fanatic, although I will watch an event here and there. So random golfers will go with, there we go, one other golfer. So we're gonna, we'll go up against Ian Poulter. So I guess that's good for now. So let's go to the tee. Suck. Selection's not complete. Oh, I guess I have to PC. Yeah, so the computer will control Ian Poulter. All right, so let's go to the tee now. Selection's not complete. All right, what did I not do here? Oh, I select course, maybe. There you go. That's probably it right there. All right, now let's try it. 
Looks like that's loading here. Click OK to start simulating around. Be patient for the final results. Simulating. Why is it simulating everything? Okay. So is that it right there? Just the first three holes it's doing? I'm a little confused. So, again, this is the first time I've tried it. All right, let me close this now. So it looks like he scored a five, a three, and a four. And two putts on each one. Stats aren't saved. No. Okay. Hold on here. So view. Call for logs and Poulter. So this looks like these are the rounds that the computer picked. Okay. I'll save it, I guess. Save. Scorecard. Go for a course stats. Okay. And we'll save. Let's we'll save everything just to be sure. Text file. Okay. All right. Um, go for logs. And Poulter. All right. We already brought that up. Okay. Let's close this now. All right. So I don't know exactly what went on there. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's try this again. Do round. Demo. So maybe I didn't actually pick one there. Okay, let's try this again. Ricky Fowler. And then... Alright, so let's just try... I thought I had to pick... And Shane Lowry. Okay, so... Then on there okay so now I picked two so let's try this now okay now uh that's what I did wrong so what I did was is I didn't pick the uh didn't pick my um pick myself I just picked the one computer golfer okay so now this should work here I think now some random golfers no okay I don't want to do that all right let's just let's go with him Oh, what the heck? Might as well go. We'll go. We'll go with all four. Why not? We'll make things a little interesting here. So I'll be Ricky. So PC golfer control. So I'm gonna control. Looks like I. Okay, there you go. All right. So I will control Ricky Fowler. Let's try this. There we go. So par five. All right. So this is the actual game here. Let's see if we can figure this out here. Driver. Go. Where's the hole in there? Like, hole is over here. Alright. We may have to disable Mr. Barodi here. That's good. Okay, so let's see. So let's go with drive here. Left, middle, right. Looks like it's a fairly straight hole, so I'm going to go for the middle, I guess. So we'll go with it. Alright, so let's, let's just hit the drive.
accuracy roll. Just a fine tuning roll. Did I shoot it or not? I can't tell. Let's try this. Ah! Ah! I drove it 341 yards. I think I select the driver and then I pick where I want to go with it. Okay. The question is where am I? Okay, I'm in the fairway. So let's go to next here. Let's try that. Okay. So now it looks like these are the way the other golfers fared. Paul Casey is in the mid fairway. I'm in the A mid fairway. Like this bottom part here is what I know where I am. Let me see if I'm missing anything in the bar. I'm not sure why I'm missing that bottom part here. Am I missing anything? I think it's all on camera. No, it's not. Well, usually, when I plug in my. Hey, Miss Mags. When I plug in my laptop. And uh, my monitor here it straightens out the screen so the whole thing is on my laptop for some reason. It's not totally down there. Okay, so let's see here. What I can do here. I can use strategy here. I can go for the no strategy, go for the pin middle of the green. So it's kind of a big green. Um, how far am I away? That's the question here. It's out there. A lot of fairway club adjustment. The pen out. Let's go for the pen one time. So I think these are. These are maybe percentages, possibly, of getting to where I need to go. I'm not sure. So let's see. Here. Let's just try this. Oh. <laughs> well, I've managed to crash the game, so. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm going to try to get back here once I get this back up. Alright, we've reloaded here. Um, not sure where. Yeah, we're both back at the T. It looks like it didn't. I did where I last saved it. Alright, so we're going to have to do that shot again. So let's just. Uh, I guess we just go with the driver for these guys. So next, so he's in the rough. Uh, now who is this? Is this this is me? I think. So rookie Fowler. So I'm gonna drive it. Let's go mid like we did last time. Roll the die. So okay. So I have to roll the die. So I have to roll the die right here. Hit the driver. Yes. Ah. So there the die show up there. Okay. So let's see if we can figure this out here. Distance roll, 16. Accuracy roll, 16. So I imagine the higher one is better. Range roll, 3. And distance for fine tune roll, 6. Alright, so I ended up, let's see where I ended up here. That's if I want to undo it. Okay. So I'm not really sure. Do I hit this now? Okay. So it looks like we roll our die, and then we pick these. And there must be like certain percentages or something like that that we have based upon each golfer. And then we have a aim adjustment and everything too. So the off, it says right here, the optimum placement for the tee shot is left center of the fairway. Your second shot must carry the steep slope, but beware of the bunkers on the left. Okay. All right, so I am on the fairway, so that's good. So we'll go next, and I think Shane Lowry will hit. All right, so we all hit there. So Casey is on the right fairway. I'm on the mid fair, A mid fairway. Lowry's on the C right fairway, and... Halter is on the C right fairway. 
Okay. All right. So now it's my shot. So it looks like I got the. Am I the furthest out? It's usually where the furthest out goes first, I would think. All right. So let's see here. So I guess I roll. Just a D20 roll 11. So I get very poor location roll. Missed green roll 9. Missed hit green roll 11. Location roll 15. Hmm. Oh boy. So let's see here. To figure out what these mean over here. So this is a par 5. So I don't think I want to go for the green. I'm going to use no strategy again. Um, so is this where I pick my club? Not sure here. So stroke one, my score is even. Oh boy. So I imagine, that, let me look at this card here. This is the card, must be the card of the hole. So, let's see, this is fairway maybe? I want to go for the middle fairway, see if that's all right. Wrong club, okay, wrong club. All right, so I can't use that. How about this? I don't want to do that. Uh, so these down here, I can't touch on those. So it's got to be something above here. Try that. Wrong club. So how do I select my club? Let's try off over here. Oh, I keep saying wrong club there. Alright, so let's see where I can select. Okay, where can I select my club? Uh, do I select it over here to the right somewhere? Club long iron. Oh, okay. Let's just uh, maybe I got to do it somewhere in, under the long iron. That's probably what it is. Let's try that. There you go. So I got to do it under the li under the long iron. So we'll just go with that. And did I shoot it? I don't know if I shot it there. Result: offshore distance rough club on pitching wedge. All right. So let's see. Okay, so the rest of the guys shot, so I am off short. Just can't see where I'm uh, visual having trouble visualizing where I'm at. <laughs> okay. Again, this is the first time we've tried this, so we're just trying to get used to everything, so bear with us. Um, so it's, now it's my shot, and they selected a pitching wedge for me. Okay, so I think... Probably the higher number is the higher percentage shot I have, I would think. I'm going to go with this ATG thing and try that there. Oh, and I managed to crash the game once again. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, we are back once again here. And it looks like they, after the crash, it looks like they reset us once again. So let's see. We're pick, I think we're getting it slowly here. So let's... Start these guys shooting. So that was Paul Casey's shot there. So now it should bring us to our shot. Yeah, rookie filer. Okay. So let's go with. I know we have to hit the driver thing first. So we came up with a 15 distance roll, accuracy roll 15, range roll 3, and a distance fine tune roll of 5. Okay. So let's try, let's go in the middle again. The rest of the guys will go and see. Trying to see if on this chart to the right here, to try to make some sense of these charts here. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna, I'll try C this time, see what that does. Okay. 
Alright, so I get C mid fairway. Casey got A mid fairway. Okay, golfer has the option to lay up or go for the green. Ooh. Auto choice. I'm going to go with auto choice. I'm not even sure here. Oh, should we go for the green? I kind of want to be a little aggressive here and go for the green. Let's let's go for the green. All right, so F W. Is that a wood? Okay, so F W. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, I don't want to crash the game again. <laughs> So let's go with this. All right, what does that do? Okay, it does an 18, six to seven. Uh, let's go with this. Oh, I went to the water. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what I'm shooting at. I have no visual here, so. I'm not sure exactly what it is. So results, water club, pitching wedge. Okay, so next. All right, so that was not good. I'm, oh, at least I'm not the only one that got in the water. Poulter got in the water too. Okay, uh, so now it's my turn again. So pitching wedge. I guess that's what I get for going aggressive. Pitching wedge, and let's go. Let's go with this real short one. So that is probably probably the lower number ones are the better shots that I have, maybe. Rough club. Okay, pitching wedge. So next. Oh, another error here. So I'm definitely uh, bugging the game out. I'm good at that. <laughs> Hold on here. Alrighty, we're back here after crashing the game again. It looks like it started off as, at the T here. So let's give it one more shot. Uh, at this, let's see here. Okay, I guess I gotta look and see what it's highlighting over here. That's probably a big part of it here. So, okay, it looks like it highlighted all this yellow stuff. So let's check it when I shoot this time. See if it highlights anything specific. Okay, and I'm gonna go with the C again here. Doesn't look like I have very good numbers here though. Okay, so, oh, C is mid, okay, I see it now. So now, I'm in the mid here, this bottom part here. I believe that's what I got, C mid, that turned black. All right, so this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna go auto choice here. Which I think I went lay up, which is probably the smart move. So that way I don't go in the water like I did last time. Okay, so I am going to shoot with my mid-range iron, I guess. I guess that's what it means. And so, off ATG or fairway. Um, so, percentage. So, let's see what this brings us here. Okay, so now I have miss hit layup roll two. And location roll eight, which I'm not sure if that's any good or not. So it looks like. Hmm. So is that zero to two rough, three to nine sand, and then three to nine over here? Oh, okay. I think the left side is if I lay up there, and if I would aggressive. So okay, that's why there's so much water on the right side, I believe. So I am gonna go. I'm just going to go with the seven here and see what that brings me. Okay, so I'm going to go right over here now. So I think that was good. So lay up right. Okay, I'm with the other guys. All right, so now. Let's see here. So I'm in this layup part in the middle here, right six to ten. So six, seven, fairway, eight, rough, nine. Let's see what this brings up. I think this is the yellow. Which one is it here? This location, roll seven. 
All right. So I think I'm going to go with the same thing. I'm going to go with the seven. Let's see what that brings me. Don't know exactly what that did. Off long and rough. All right, pitching wedge now. Ooh. Because okay, I'll hit this off seven here. Okay, it looks like I'm, am I on the green? No, I'm short. Looks like I came up short there. Okay. So off short. All right. Um, pitching wedge again, I guess. So three to nine short. Just trying to figure out what roll means what here. I guess I'll try the ATG, whatever that means. Oh, I'm still short. Okay, so now a chip. So now it looks like I'm on this top part here, the rough. So let's hit the chip shot here. Okay. What do I do now? <laughs> Can I hole out? Are these, are these, I don't know if these are percentages here. Again, I haven't even really looked at the rule book yet, which I probably should have, but figured I would just give a... Uh, chance. Uh, let's see here. Let's try that. Let's go with this 51 here. Putter. Okay, I'm on the green now, at least 16 feet away. So 16 to 20 there. So putter. I don't think that's a good roll there. I think I wanted between 16 and 20 there. Although, do I only hit the green? Hey, I got it in. <laughs> Not sure exactly what I did there, but it's slowly trying to get. Oh, look, if I look down here, 16 to 20. Okay. All right. All right, so. Now I'm on part hole two. Oh boy, looks like there's a lot of water around this one, whatever it is. It's a par three, 137 yards. So we'll try this one other hole here. Oops, let me move this over. Is that a sand iron there? Oh, excuse me, get a little runny nose here. All right, uh, so sand iron. So I came up with a five. Miss hit green roll, location roll. Again, I get. I'll probably look at these and see what they actually mean. Ah, excuse me. All right, so let's just. I guess we'll hit the ATG one in the middle here. So ATG FL. Ah, excuse me. All right. So I'm in the rough. So now it's my shot again. Chip shot. I guess we'll go with the 51 here. Okay, I'm on the green, 16 feet away. Go with the putter. And we'll go hit the green thing again. We got it in. We got a par three, it looks like. All right, maybe one more hole. Let's see if we can figure this out a little bit more here. 
Alrighty, so driver. This is a par, th par four, hole three, 465 yards. Oh, Alright, don't know if that was good or not. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I want to play it in the middle here. I'll go for the. Let's try the B here. iron here. I'll try the ETG middle thing here. No crowd noise there. Alright, so now I'm in the fairway. All the other guys are on the green. <laughs> so chip it. So this ATG fairway chip. Uh, I'll keep with that two-player thing. It seems to be good. Fifty-one. All right, I'm on the green, but twenty-seven feet away. So let's go with putter, and we'll go with the one ninety-four here. There we go. So I think I got a par that time. Again, I'm not totally sure what I'm doing yet. <laughs> right, here we go. So this is the summary after four holes here. Oh, this might be the a four hole course here. So I got, let's see, I am trying to figure out my score here. Oh, the first one I got an eight, that was pretty bad. Second one I got bogey, and the other one I got bogey too. So I guess I didn't do as good as I thought I did. So it looks like Casey is the one Casey? No. Looks like uh, Lowry's on top by a stroke. He had 11. He got 17. Casey's got 12. Poulter's got 12. So I'm six strokes off the lead. Two putts on it. We all two putt except for uh, Lowry one putted it and uh, Poulter one putted the last two holes too. So blue must be birdie. Green is bogey or worse. I mean, uh, yellow is bogey. And then eight is just horrible. <laughs> All right, so it looks like that's the full. I'll save it. Why not? All right. So that's just a little look at inside the club golf. Uh, first impressions kind of thing. Uh, I'm sure once I figure out what all the symbols mean, the die rolls and all that stuff, it'll be a lot more fun. But I started to pick it up a little bit, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, looks like it's got a similar type layout thing to the other sports games, although I'm sure it operates a lot different, being a different game. Um, but it looks like it lo might be some fun once I figure out what I'm doing. So I'll probably be back with another video I might, or uh, after I look at the rules and um, maybe try a little bit off camera, maybe do some match play or, or something like that and see uh, against one other golfer and see how that goes. See if we can figure out a little bit more of the mechanics and uh, what means what in the game. But anyway, that was the first impression Inside the Cup Golf by Inside Sports Games. Check it out. Uh, I own all the Inside Sports Games, and I'll, I'll probably pick up this once I figure it out a little bit. Um, so I'll definitely probably spend the weekend uh, trying to look at this and uh, see what I can uh, see what I can uh, figure out here. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. My co-host, Mr. Brody, with his pals there and Miss Mags. And we'll see you in the next Inside the Golf. Inside the cup golf video take care and god bless bye bye now